Hey you guys, it's Peter! <laughs> Peter! <laughs> and I'm back! Of course I'm back! I'm not going anywhere! Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube Friday! It's Friday night! Oh, what a night! Oh, what a night! Except it's not Friday night. My voice is starting to crack in my videos when I say, Hey you guys, it's Peter! And it reminds me so much of Peter from The Brady Bunch. It's not Friday night, it's Monday afternoon. And when it's a Monday afternoon and you don't have anything to do and it's cold outside, baby, it's cold outside. Why not a cookie and cosmetics review? So let's get right into this video, shall we? Y'all can timestamp it at 44 seconds. I think that's the quickest I've ever gotten into a video before. Um, so listen, okay? If y'all are here and you are like, drag a bitch, let her have it. Okay, that's not what this review is gonna be about. That's not what this video is gonna be about at all, okay? This video is gonna be about me talking about reviews that have been made, a review that I will possibly be doing, and then I have some advice at the end of the video. Um, as I often do in my videos, you know, I put suggestions and things. And um, it was interesting because I today, you guys, listen. ding a ling a ling shab a ling dang ding dong How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. No, this is not sugardaddy.com. Stop using my picture! <laughs> okay, so, let me just tell you. That I constantly, you guys, this cracks my shit up so bad. I constantly get pictures like this <laughs> that people take from my Instagram. I mean, it is a hot picture. I'm basically a model. I'm basically an international spokesperson. Okay, but this one put their name as Genesis. They spelled it wrong. Gen Sis. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's some kind of shade. But they said I was 50. I'm not 50. <laughs> I'm 45, but I love that they put 50. New York, New York, United States, and then it says underneath here, um, they're a premium account, which means they paid good money to have the account and good money to use my picture. They put, you might be surprised by what I'm looking for. I get these all the time, you guys. People send these to me all the time. It cracks my shit up that people like actually, I mean, it's really very flattering that people take my pictures from Instagram and then try to scam women all over the world, basically, when you show up, you should know who I am. I mean, do you think you're gonna like have a date with me and you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's Peter Mon, but he said his name is Genesis and then you're gonna get to the date and you're gonna be like, Genesis? I'm gonna be like, beast! I mean, that's not what's gonna happen, okay? And trust me, if you ever show up for a date, then the reality is you better uh, be checking to make sure that it's at uh, Bob Evans for Biscuits and Gravy because that's the truth. But anyway, anyway, so I have received so many, so so many um, DMs today about different things. And I wanted to give somebody a little shout out, first of all. Uh, hold on a second, I'm in my video. Okay, so I wanted to give a shout out to, where did I um, find this? Okay, Angelica Nyquist. And I hope that I am pronouncing her name right. And um, her newest, her video called New Makeup Releases Going on the Wish List or Nah at 12 minutes and 30 seconds. She talks about moi and says that I'm the only drama channel that she watches because she doesn't watch drama channels because she thinks they're bullying and she says in her video and she's very educated, you can tell. She says that I'm not a bully and she says that I always offer suggestions and blah, blah, blah. And she, thank you so much because uh, I watched her video and I was just like sitting there and I was like, oh my God, my cheeks were burning. <gasps> I was like, oh, how flattering. That's so cool. I love compliments and I think on a daily basis, we should give out compliments to people all the time. So, um, I also think we should always be honest, which is why I need to address um, a question that keeps on coming my way. It's funny because it was kind of like through somebody else, which I want to address their shit because I don't know their shit. Okay, I'll just put that out there. I don't know. I really honestly don't know their shit. But then somebody tagged me in this like Twitter stream of like, like allegedly asking if I had sent nudes, dick pics out there. So let me just clear the air, okay, on two things. Um, number one, I have never <laughs> in my life, okay, never sent a dick pic to anyone, including my husband. And I know, I know, sad statement, but maybe he can get it whenever he wants. Um, and so I have no problem going into a courtroom and dropping my drawers to prove that um, with some very, very 
interesting evidence, and uh, I ain't ashamed of what my papa gave me. So, you know, like, bring on the pictures, number one. But that wasn't alleged by anybody, so don't, you know, that was, don't go to that person and say it was brought up by just somebody in the thread, and it blah, blah, blah. The second thing is, apparently I'm involved in some legal issues, and I wasn't even aware of it. So, I thought, well, you better put this video out now before it's too late. I mean, I haven't heard from any legal attorneys or so, but I'll deal with that when I do. So anyway, my attorney's on speed dial. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into this video, shall we? So all of these people were sending me direct messages about this one person's review, and let me pull it up. Her, her name is Jenny just changed her number. Oh my God, 8675309, Jenny, Jenny. Do you guys remember that song? Wasn't her name Jenny in that song? Anyway, no, I'm not doxing somebody. It's a song, okay, for those of you that, psh, anyway. Um, and, and her video is called Cookie and Eyeshadow Review. So everybody was, like, sending me this, like, uh, thumbnail and, like, of her, like, video. And they're like, oh, my God, have you seen this? Oh, my God, have you seen this? Oh, my God, have you seen this, right? Yes, I went and I watched it after this, okay? So I thought, okay, you know, let's do something that, uh... The people don't expect. Let's be rather fair and honest, okay? So I was like, I watched her video, and then I went in and I watched two other videos. I watched Honest as Fuck Review on Cooking and Cosmetics by Ariana uh, Gonzalez, and I watched uh, Cooking and Cosmetics Pigments Review Demo Swatches uh, by, I think it's Rain is a Doll. Um, anyway, so if you go and you watch Jenny's video, Cooking and uh, eyeshadow review. It has 43,000 views on it at this point. And I would say it is a, I mean, it is a negative review. Um, she says that she doesn't like it. She talks about the pigmentation. She swatches it and all this kind of stuff. I will say this going into the review. It's very interesting. Listen, girls, okay? Y'all made your videos now, and I get to make my commentary on your videos because, see, I'm a drama channel. Don't mean I does, It doesn't mean I don't like you. It doesn't mean that we can't be good Judy's and go to the Bob Evans and then go to the Dollar General afterwards and go shopping. It doesn't mean any of that, see, okay? We can all sit around here. We can be good Judy's, and we can all have our opinions. So before you say, Peter Mon came for me, and I will link all these videos below so y'all can check them out because I wanted to watch a negative review and a positive review or an honest review or whatever, right? So I will say on the first one that I watched, Jenny's review, um, going into it, it you could tell it was going to be a little biased. I mean, her attitude was very tongue-in-cheek sarcastic towards John Cookian. And um, so I was like watching this and she swatches it and it's, you know, it's one of those reviews. Now, she may be 100% honest. I don't know, okay? But it's one of those reviews where it's kind of like you can already tell she doesn't really like the person. So it's like, uh, like, how honest are you being? And, um, I mean, and this is the thing. She's gotten so many views off of it, which, hey, do your gig to get your views. But if you really want people to take you seriously, you have to be completely unbiased with your information, which is what I'm doing today. So that was that video. I thought it was well done. I mean, she pigments each thing. She does it with her finger. She goes around three times on the pan, and then she goes in with the brush that John sent. I thought it was very, very well done. I honestly did. Um, so then I went in, and the next one I watched was uh, Honest as Fuck Review on Cooking Cosmetics by Ariana Gonzalez. It has 4.9 thousand views, which is interesting because she has like 40. I looked on here, and I was like, girl, why aren't you getting any subs off of this? Uh, she has 34 subscribers, so I was like, all right, girl. Um, but anyway, that's a lot of views to not get more subscribers than that. It kind of surprised me. But I'll link it below, too. She has this gorgeous coat she wears in this thing, this red coat. Oh, here, I'll show it to you. Um, let me do It is lovely. So anyway, she goes in and does this review. I would say, fairness-wise, if Jenny's was, like, a negative review, a little biased, um, Ariana's is positively reviewed a little biasly. That's just my opinion, okay? And she kind of gives her two cents at the end of the video and says, like, you know, like, if you think that somebody's this or whatever, then don't watch her videos and don't... Girl, listen, okay? I get it, Manny Mua. Don't want... But we all do anyway, okay? And there comes a point when it's not a job about just looking the other way. You know, it's interesting to me, on the heels of this video that this kid put out about being bullied in school, do y'all know what I'm talking about, this viral video? I'll be addressing that on my Peterisms channel if you want to go there. Um, but 
it's interesting to me that a lot of people that are fans of all of this stuff that's going on are like, just, if you don't like it, just don't pay any attention to it. No, no, that's, that's, a, that's a problem with our society, see, is when we don't hold people accountable for their behaviors, okay? And when you're in school and somebody is being bullied and you don't do anything about it or in the workplace or in your family or wherever, you have become part of that problem, see? So when you do not take all of those things into account that have gone on, you now are problematic as well. I just want to put that out there, okay? But I'm just talking about reviews today. I thought her review was well done. I thought it was very nicely done. I mean, you could tell she likes John, and that's okay. That's fine, you know? And then I went in and I watched um, this... Cooking Cosmetics Pigments Review Demo Swatches. It has 4.9 thousand views. That's interesting to me that they both have exactly the same amount of views. And she has a little bit more. She has 230 subscribers. Um, so I went in and watched that review. I thought out of the three reviews, honest to God, now I haven't seen the product, so I don't know. I thought it was the most honest of all three of them. Um, you know, you can tell she favors John. She goes in there at the end and she goes, whether he's morally corrupt or whether she, he's this or whatever, she's always like, that's not really the point. I'm just reviewing the makeup. And I thought, you know, like, okay, so fine. Like, let's put all that aside for a second, which people don't want to do. And I understand that and I respect that. But just as makeup, okay. So then I got to thinking, y'all know that in 2018, I'm going to be doing some makeup tutorials on here myself. Do y'all know? Well, first of all, I mean, Good Judy Beauty is coming out. I have now, listen, okay, listen. I've been very, very busy up in my bathroom. My lab is in my bathroom. I've been very busy um, coming up with the perfect, uh, the perfect chapstick. Now, you know, I really do, no, that's not one of my favorites. I love this Fanta Orange. It's beautiful. And if you pigment it, you can see um, it's a little greasy. It goes on a little greasy, a little bit like Vaseline, but I mean, you can't beat the taste. And the price point is just fantastic. So that might be a keeper. We might want to just copy that and call it uh, Good Judy Beauty. And then I also love the uh, Fanta Grape. It's one of my favorites too. Hi, I was just waving to you. That wasn't a mistake. Um, <laughs> I love the Fanta Grape. Um, and you know, I mean, like this, the pigmentation on this is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, it too is a little greasy if you can see, but I mean... Grape and orange together. So I'm thinking I'll just probably keep that one too and then change the name. So if you didn't know that uh, my line of chapsticks is coming out in a 2018 Good Judy Beauty. <laughs> no, but I did say that I have some friends of mine that are legit makeup um, artists. And one of them is somebody that has done makeup. She was a celebrity makeup artist in LA for many, many years. And she recently moved back to Indianapolis. And she was like, yeah, let's do this damn thing, baby. And then my other friend, who's even better friend, um, she went on two world tours with Britney Spears, where she was specifically her makeup and hair person. And um, I reached out to her and I was like, hey, would you be willing to do a video with me teaching me about makeup? And she was like, absolutely. So I thought, you know what? Listen, okay. Now she has her integrity. She has her integrity you know, at cost here. So like, she doesn't want to just like hand over her integrity. She wouldn't get on a video. If I can't, if I said to her, Hey baby, listen, okay, get on a video and just slam the shit out of this makeup. She'd say, no, I'm not willing to do that because I have my integrity. And like I've said in a lot of my, my videos, once you give your integrity away, you can never get it back. Remember? So she wouldn't do that. So I'm not purchasing this makeup. I'm just not for a lot of reasons, but um, if anybody wants to send it to me, I will get her and we will make a video. I am sure I don't have to ask her that she has never heard of cooking and cosmetics, but I will get her on camera and I will legit ask her for a hundred percent honest review and she knows her shit. Okay. She is professionally trained. She put makeup on Britney Spears. So I'll have her talk about it. I'll have her talk about the packaging and all this kind of stuff. I thought the bags for cooking cosmetics were actually very pretty. I will say that. Um, but so many people are so upset. They're like, oh my God, it comes, it breaks apart, it's powdery, all this kind of stuff. So I don't know how we're going to ever decipher between what are the real reviews and what aren't. And so I thought, well, listen, I'll just put out a fucking real honest review. Why not? You know, I won't even do it. I'll just get, I won't say one thing about it. I'll just get my good Judy up here and I'll say, here, you go, you do it all. And uh, I won't prep her before it. She'll just think that we're going to be doing a makeup review. And I'll say, here, I want to know what you think of these products. And we'll catch it on film if somebody wants to send it to me. Because like I said, and I'm not saying that because I want everybody to send me a bunch of shit. Okay. I was more than willing to buy Jeffrey and Manny's. 
uh, collab so that Amy Slayton and I could do a uh, video together. <gasps> Amy Slayton and I do cooking and cosmetics. Oh my god, that would be so fantastic. Amy, I'll call you in a little bit. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe we could just do deep fried Twinkie reviews, because I love a good deep fried Twinkie too, don't you? Oh my god, I miss the state fair. So anyway, but I'm going to do that review if you guys want me to. I will be 100% honest on it. I'll just let her do it, and then we'll get an honest and fair review from a makeup, makeup person, because listen, no makeup guru is going to review this. They just aren't, okay? We're, I mean, Jeffree Star and Manny and Laura and Jacqueline and all these people are probably not going to review it, okay? So I would like to get some honest reviews out there because I am so tired of people sending me stuff and I don't know what to say because I'm like, I don't know this shit. But I will say this, okay? I'm going to say this in regards to starting companies. Anybody starting a company. You know, I was thinking about this today and we're in regards to like all the drama in 2017 that I've, you know, covered from, you know, people using racial slurs to people being sexist to people showing their ass on social media and all of these people who have products that are out there, right? And so it very much reminded me of what happened with Chick-fil-A years ago. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where they came out and they were like anti-LGBT and then it like really hurt their business for a while. And so I found this article um, on the Harvard Business Review. <laughs> So it's a very reputable article, and the article is called, um, We Studied 38 Incidents of CEO Bad Behavior and Measure Their Consequences. And I love that it goes in here and it says, um, It is much less obvious what actions the board, because most companies have boards, should take when the CEO is accused of behavior that is questionable but not illegal. For example, if the CEO makes controversial public statements, has personal relations with an employee or co contractor, or develops a reputation for being rude, overbearing, or verbally combative, the board must decide what, me, uh, what merits investigation and must also decide whether to address matters publicly or privately. These decisions become even more important when CEO misbehavior is picked up by the media, bringing unwanted public attention that can have an impact on the organization and its reputation. Um, and then it goes in there and they did like 38 incidences and they talked in here at one point about American uh, Apparel's CEO. Okay, here it is. For example, news stories today continue to reference former American Apparel CEO Dov Sharney's odd behavior of walking around the company offices in his underwear, even though it was first reported over 10 years ago. People don't forget. Boards should not expect allegations of misbehavior to disappear, quick, to disappear quickly. Shareholders genuinely but do not always react negatively to news of conduct. And then it goes in here and it talks about around periods of incident, okay, every incident that occurs of misbehavior, um, that there's like a two or a three day down decline in business for that company. But once they come out with a press statement and they clean it all up and they say, hey, listen, we're taking ownership over our behavior. We will change as a company that wants to show that we deserve your attention and your a good reputation. We will change. It won't happen again. Now, imagine a company that continues to show their ass over and 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 over. I needed my virginal fan. And over again. That would be two to three days of negative behavior for every incident they put out there, okay? For every tweet, for every snap, for every Instagram picture, for every slur, for whatever they do, okay? That's two to three days of negativity for that. I'm not sure if I was starting a company or if I owned a company or if I had had a company for 30 years that that kind of negative attention is something that would be, that I would want for my business. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, then I'm just saying as a recommendation to people that might be starting, thinking about starting businesses, most companies take an active approach in responding to allegations of misconduct. In 84, that's a B for those of you in college and high school, in 84% of cases, the company issued a press release or formal statement on the matter. In 71% of cases, the spokesperson provided direct commentary to the press. Board members were much less likely to speak to the media, making direct comments only 30% of the time. In over half of cases, 55%, the board of directors was known to initiate an independent review or investigation on the behavior. Corporate punishment for CEO misbehavior is inconsistent, and in 58% of incidents, the CEO is eventually terminated for his or her actions. Questionable financial practices was the only category, be well, we don't need to talk about that. Uh, I mean, I guess not. Even behavior as straightforward as falsifying information, we, okay, well, this is not about any, I don't think anybody needs to know this information. CEO misbehavior can reverberate across the organization. 
and it goes in here to talk about how CEO's behavior can really overall affect a company. And I think it's a really important thing to think about, you know, in the year of 2017, and, and honest to God, I, I'm not just saying this about one person. You know, we can talk about Kathleen Lights and the Snapchat. We can talk about Jeffree Star and the racist allegations that were made. We can talk about the numerous, numerous tweets and things that have been put out and Snapchats and comments that left on people's videos you know, by John Cookian, and we can talk about, you know, all this other kind of stuff, and Manny, and people lying about purchases they made, and, you know, on and on and on, and it's like, what is this doing for your reputation and your company, and I think it's something that people need to think about. People have asked me a lot in the last week, what do I think will happen with John Cookian, and, you know, it's interesting. I really have no idea. I don't have a crystal ball, although a lot of people uh, think that I do. But I do think that at this point, you know, when people direct me to a tweet that he's made that references me, of course I'm going to go. And it's interesting when underneath there, there are 40 comments, 40 responses that are in defense of me. And, uh, you know, what's interesting about that is that the it, it, it's not looking good. And I think that a little cleanup needs to be had at this point, you know, because... It's not just about a makeup company, it's about a YouTube channel. It's about this huge empire that John has built. And there are a lot of YouTubers out there that have three to 500, a million subscribers, but not a lot of people really watch their videos even though they put them out regularly. And I'm talking about, you know, like, they'll get 10 to 20 views, 20,000 views a video, and that's good, okay? But that's not sustainable income. It really isn't. And, uh, you know, then if nobody's willing to buy products that you're putting out, whether it's t-shirts or merch or makeup or, you know, I don't know, soda pop or whatever you're putting out there, then, you know, at that point, the reality is, unless you're going to start a Patreon, oh, please, please let me make that video, um, then you have to get a real job. And I know that for a lot of people that's distasteful, of course, obviously, when you're making a shit ton of money. But you know what? To come out and look at this as a learning experience, so many people have said to me, I really, 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 really hope, okay, that John learns from this and becomes a better person. Why would we want anything less? Why would we not want somebody to grow from a certain experience? I have not seen that evidence yet, but I am hoping that that happens down the road. But until then, if anybody sends me the makeup, I will give a full review. Well, my friend will. I will sit right there. But it has to be unopened, I will say that, because I don't want anybody coming and saying that I botched it and I did this and I did that. So no, baby, I ain't about all that, okay? I'm trying to be really fair. And if she gets on there and she says, this makeup is legit, I love it, I use it every day, then that will be the video that I post. Oh, by the way, this is a twofer, so coming up is a makeup video, or is a magazine video. Makeup video. <gasps> Good Judy Beauty. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.